there's nothing wrong with sugar in general, right? But I do think that is something that you should try to limit a little bit because it can cause problems when you have too much sugar in your bloodstream. Now, excess sugar, of course, turns into excess fat. If, if we eat too many calories, more than our caloric maintenance in a day, then we're going to store that sugar, that extra sugar we're getting as fat. And it's going to make us fatter. But on top of that, it's also going to cause more inflammation inside of our bodies. And it's going to do a lot of other things that we just want to completely avoid if we're being honest. So if you have a problem with sugar, if you're eating a lot of candy, if you're eating a lot of just sweets in general, pop, uh, things like that, even artificial sweeteners, be careful because that could be one of the reasons why you're not losing weight. Now, another thing is taking in more calories than you think you are. I know, I know, I know it's tough, especially when, you know, you you're hungry and you just want to eat something. But you have to realize when you're done with your calories for the day. Otherwise, you will never be able to stick to your plan. You'll never be disciplined enough to succeed in fat loss if you can't stick to your caloric uh, deficit. That's the only way you'll lose fat is if, in a healthy way is if you stick to your caloric deficit. If you're taking in more calories than you think, download MyFitnessPal. It is an app, helps you track your calories and make sure that you're getting in line. Another thing I'll throw in, it's not another like, um, I guess it's not one of the things you need in this, but I recommend getting a scale. If you don't know that you're taking in more calories than you are, start scaling things. Be more accurate. Be more precise with your measurements. OK, I guess another thing would be you're on the wrong diet. You know, a lot of people and I do think it's important to try different things for your body type and figure out what you like. Um, and if you're not familiar with this, there are different body types. There's mesomorphs, endomorphs and ectomorphs and all of them. Um, react to certain foods differently so it's important to find out what body type you are and then understand what the best diet may be for you some people me specifically i'll give you a personal experience are terrible on keto diet like i tried the keto diet i felt miserable uh, i was on it for a few weeks and i just was like you know what i'm not <laughs> i'm not about to do this like it's horrible i need my carbs and ever since then i i started to learn to appreciate carbs um, but it took me doing that keto diet and realizing how bad it was for my body and don't get me wrong i'm not saying this for everybody i'm saying this was my personal experience some people can do amazing on keto some people have been doing it for years and they love it they love the mental clarity that comes with it and all that kind of stuff for me it was a no-go um and if you're doing the wrong if you're on the wrong diet and you're doing keto like i gained five pounds when i was doing keto i was doing it totally incorrectly um if we're being honest like i was eating a lot of unhealthy fats you know bacon burgers and all that kind of stuff i mean i mixed in healthy fats of course but I just I just didn't like it at the end of the day. It wasn't for me and it caused a lot of stress on my body that I could have completely avoided if I would have just relaxed and stuck to my basics. But, you know, a few years back before I really got educated on this, I was willing to try anything, to be honest. Now, another thing is not recovering. It's extremely important to recover. If you're not losing weight, start there. Recovery includes sleeping, um, probably the most important, water and stretching. You want to make sure that you are giving your body the best possible state to succeed in your journey. It's important that you recover properly because if you don't, you are setting yourself up for disaster. I talked about this a few times in a few different videos, but there are studies that show that by not drinking the amount of water you need in a day, you can actually slow down your fat burning process by up to 40%. So it's extremely important to make sure that you are hydrated, to make sure that your body is functioning at its optimal rate, especially while you are stressing it out in the gym and changing up your diet into new healthier, you know, into a new healthier lifestyle. Now, the last one, um, yeah, I wasn't going to put this one on here, but I do think it's very important. If you feel like you have done all of these things, you're not eating a ton of sugar, you're not taking in more calories, you know, you're recovering properly, you're doing all these things. It might be time to go get a blood test done and check your thyroid. I think it's extremely important to do that. I got a thyroid test done. Um, I had convinced myself for like a month or two that, <laughs> that I had a thyroid issue and it ended up being, I wasn't getting enough sleep. Okay, so I'm trying to save you a lot of time by telling you all this. So make sure that you cover all these things, cut out sugar, uh, stop taking in more calories if you are. If you're on the wrong diet, get off it. If you're not recovering properly, start recovering. If none of this is working, 
go see a doctor and get some blood testing done. I appreciate you for watching this video. Like, comment, share, and subscribe, and go follow me on Instagram at Hunt Health Official. I appreciate y'all. I'll see you later.